Hi everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making ample shortbread bars. There's a lot of steps to it but it's really easy and the end result is well worth it. You just got to plan a little bit ahead because after baking you're going to let it cool completely and then put it in the refrigerator for two hours. So I would say probably make it the day before you need it, okay? So let's get started. In a mixing bowl you're going to take a half a cup of softened butter And we're going to mix this until it's white and fluffy. It should look white. In the meantime, preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Okay? So we're going to get this started. I'm just going to let this mix. It'll take about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay? So then you, for the crust, you're going to need a half a cup of the butter, a quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one cup of flour. Okay, I have all that here. I'm putting it aside. Then you're going to move on to your apple filling. You're going to need three large apples and you're going to want to peel them and slice them really thin. You're also going to need two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I'm going to do my apples and I'll get right back to you. Okay, once your butter is really white, we're going to start adding the other ingredients. So you're going to need a quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to let that mix. And in the meantime, you're going to need an 8 by 8 pan lined with parchment paper. Now make sure the edges hang over, the parchment paper edges hang over the pan so when it's done we can just pull it out and cut it. It'll be really easy. How I got mine to kind of go in better than normal is I crunch it up into a bit a ball and then I just spread it out and kind of lays in there. And once we get our, our um, bottom in there it'll lay flat. Okay so I'm just going to mix this. Now, I'm going to clean my beater off. My hands are clean, don't worry. Okay, now you're going to add the one cup of flour, and we're just going to mix this till it's well combined. Just keep scraping in all that flour. This is combined really well. We're going to put it into our prepared pan. And we want to put it in the pan and we want to press it out as evenly as possible. So I'm just going to drop a few little pieces all around the pan and then I'll push them out and make it even. If you put it all in one big spot, it's kind of hard to move it around after that. And this also helps the paper to get put down in there so you can work with it better. Now I'm just going to start 
dabbing it in get it all over that bottom it's a little bit easier if you just use your knuckles to kind of get it in at first Now I have this tart stomper. I'm going to use that to kind of even mine out. If you don't have one of these, just keep pressing with your hands. Okay, that's looking good. Got one more down around and I think we'll be good. Feel it. Okay. Now we're going to bake this in our 300 degree oven for 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep working on my apples. Once your crust comes out of the oven, set it aside for now, and we're going to start making the filling. So you're going to cut your apples really thin. If you cut them too thick, there's not enough cooking time in this to soften them. So you'll be biting into like pretty much a raw apple. So if you like it that way, that's fine. But I like mine more of like when it comes out of a can. So you're going to put your apples in the bowl. You're going to add two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And you're going to add that over the apples, and we're going to stir it until it's well combined. In the meantime, don't forget to put your oven up to 350 degrees. The reason that you do it at th the crust at 300 first is you're just setting that crust up. And then it'll cook the rest of the way once it's at 350, okay? I also used um, honey crisp. I would suggest using a more tart apple because there's a lot of sugar in this and it might be a little too sweet if you do like a sweet apple like a um, Red and Delicious or something like that. I would use either Honeycrisp or Granny Smith would be delicious. My favorite is Honeycrisp though. For eating and baking with. I like that little punch of tartness that it gives you. Just making sure it's mixed really well. It looks like it's coming along. Okay, now we're going to set that to the side. Now, you're going to make the crumble. You need a quarter cup of melted butter. It doesn't have to be melted. It could be room temperature. Um, mine, I forgot to pull it out, so I just put it in the microwave for just a little bit. I'm not melting it because I want it to be kind of crumbly. You're going to add three quarter cups of packed brown sugar and a half a cup of flour. And then we're just going to cut that in so it's crumbly. Make sure you cut it in really well so you don't have like packets of packets of um, flour. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off with my butter knife. And then since I got it going, I'm gonna stick my hands in there and do it with my fingers. Kind of mush it around. I have a lot of flowers still showing. Just 
Just keep mixing it with your hands if you want to. Kind of break up the lumps. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle half of this mixture on our crust, okay? Just give it one more good turn over just to make sure I have it all mixed really well. Okay, so I'm just going to mix in half of this. Put it into on top of your crust, sprinkle it evenly. See if I got it in the corners real well and on the sides. Okay. All right, now we're going to put that to the side. Let me wipe my hand real quick. Now we're going to put our apples on top of that. We want them to be pretty evenly on top because we're going to want this like a layered look and you want it to look pretty when you cut into it. And with them being so thin they're really easy to work with too to get the layering you want. So I'm just starting like in one side and going to move over to the next and then I'll fill in where it needs to be filled in after I get like a rough layer in. Push it down. This smells delicious. This would be a nice fall um, dessert if you have like a potluck or something to go to when the apples are really in season. And I'm just kind of filling in where I see it needs to be. Almost done. Okay, now we're going to put the rest of our topping on evenly. You may have to pull your parchment paper away just a little bit out of the way. I'm just going to spread this out and see how it looks. And you can tell where it needs to go. It's pretty easy to see. Now we're going to put this in our 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. All right, once it's done, take it out of the oven. You're going to let it set till it's completely cool. After that, you're going to put it in the refrigerator for two hours to set up. After that, then we can cut it. All right, so here's our finished apple shortbread bars. There's only two left because... Somebody got into them, but I couldn't tell you who it was. Jack said they are amazing. Can't wait till we're done filming this so I can eat those. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.
Thank you.